need to preheat our oven to 375. All right. The jam jelly. Yeah, the jam drops. I confused myself for a second on which bowl I had. All right, if anybody's wondering what the custard powder is at the top, it's jelly custard. Um, it's down next to your puddings. Everybody kind of see that? A uh, nice little yellow package. But it is down there. It took me a second to find it too, so it's don't. Jello. It's Jello Cook and Serve Custard Dessert. <coughs> All right. Now I've already gone ahead and I've went ahead and put my uh, cup and a half of flour in with my um, custard and I've already taken my butter and cut it in. Um, cutting it in is just a process of using your butter and, and making it blend in with your flour. Um, most people know how to how to cut it in. Um, you're trying to go away from all your lumps and things like that. If you've got a dough cutter you can use it, you know, whatever you may have around the house. Um, if you don't have anything like that you can use a knife and just kind of slowly chisel your butter as you go through it and get it all mixed in with your flour. But I've got that all ready for us right there. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add in our eggs. You need two eggs. And I'm going to use another one of these containers here. been a long day. We'll still make it work. All right. You know, you notice I caught that right as I did it. I'm like, that's not supposed to be there. That, that's right. So, oh, all right. Well, we're going to add mint a little bit here. Um, one teaspoon of vanilla. I'm going to add it into this one. Is that all right? <laughs> half a tablespoon. Half. Well, there's three teaspoons and a tablespoon, so we're close. Lord, I'm all I'm all messed up right now. <laughs> all right, we'll get back on track. Watch me grab the buttermilk too, and it. We may have to take a recess and let me get my brain back on track. All right. Woo. That's it. All right. Laugh, laugh with me, please. All right. We need a quarter cup of regular milk. And we're simply going to whisk this together right quick. We'll whisk our other egg here in a minute. All right. This is cooking on the home front right here. All right, so we've got our eggs and our vanilla quarter cup of milk we're going to add it to our butter and custard flour you're just going to mix it up here and it will get pretty thick for you make sure I get that egg all separated down here now if you do have put your egg in the right container as you do this it makes this a lot easier Everybody see that nice yellow color? That's part of your uh, your put your custard coming through right there. It's real nice and thick. Let 
Everybody feeling pretty good right now, huh? See how nice and thick that is? Yeah, um, I measured it out. It's the same, so just use the one whole um, container of the custard there. All right, now back down to the fun part. You're gonna lightly grease your tray. Then you're actually gonna spoon drop these. The flour was already mixed in in the, in the original there. Now what I like to do is get a scoop about yay big. Everybody kind of see that? And then you just kind of drop it off. They're just little drop cookies. We'll just make a couple here. Now these are gonna turn out just about like a bachelor's button if you've ever had a bachelor button cookie. Now you can make them smaller or larger. If you wanted a larger cookie, you just simply put more of the batter mix down. We'll put a big one in the middle there. All right, we'll set that to the side. We have our strawberry. Like I said, we're doing jam, 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 so. What's that? J, 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 jellos and jams. Now it calls for a quarter cup. Well, what you're gonna do is you can actually do this with a spoon. You're simply taking a little bit and placing it on the top. You can make the divots in it um, if you want to, like a traditional bachelor button. They work just about the same either way. You're just kind of putting them on top there. Now I'm kind of, I have a sweet tooth, so I kind of like to put a little bit of extra jam on the top of them. But as they bake, they'll actually spread out some. They drop down just a little bit. Any questions so far? And that's about what you're looking for there. Any questions about that? Pretty easy, they look like nice little bachelor buttons. Um, if you've ever made the bachelor buttons before. We've got just another second on letting that preheat, so I'm just gonna set those to the side. But you can make them larger, you can make them smaller. If you wanted to use a different type jelly, feel free. Um, we just chose the strawberry. You could do blackberry or peach or whatever you may. Um, if you wanted to have fun, you could just do a whole bunch of different ones and spread them out on a tray around Christmas time or parties, get togethers, what have you. Um, I like to stick to the seedless um, just because that's what I prefer. Um, but I'm sure with the fruit chunks in there, it'd be just fine as well. Mm -hmm.